Hi everyone, it's Scarf Lady here. Um, I am here to share with you the completed mini album for my niece. She's getting married on Saturday. Today's Thursday and we're leaving tomorrow, Friday, for um, up north. It's about an hour away where she's getting married. So just wanted to complete everything today so I have it all ready. So this is the box I have. I think I got this box from close to my heart a while ago. Um, I'm not guaranteed, but I think that's where it's from. So I just put craft paper on the outside um, and I inked it. This cover, I inked the edges as well, just very, very lightly. And I used craft paper on the bottom. This is a frame design that was from the sea glass paper that I used. It had like a leather design around it with the frame in the middle. So I cut that out, put that here, uh, use dimensionals to uh, pop it up, and then just took some of the ink, the um, distressed ink. I used uh, vintage photo and antique linen. I did the antique linen first, and then I went over it with a little bit of vintage photo, just with the sponge dauber thing. Then. I mounted the frame onto like little pieces of cardboard so that it would be popping up so that she can put something, a picture in it. So she can just slide a picture right in there. And then again, like I said, I did the lace around the outside edge here. And then on this part of the box, there's a very strong magnet. <laughs> just did that there and paper there. That's all I did for the box. I didn't do anything else. So you open the box and there's the album. Put the box aside. And all right. So I added some twine to the front. Uh, it's like a sea foam color. And then I found some charms. So I added those. Uh, it's a heart and a key. Oops, the bow came out. A heart and a key, and then a little bling um, charm that I had with the blue, which I thought coordinated very well with the. Uh, I'm just gonna remake the bow here with the colors in the cover. So my things, my fingers are all thumbs when it comes to little stuff like this. I'll try that one more time. If I can't get it then I'm gonna give up for now. So I'm not wasting your time. So and I'm giving up. Okay, sorry. So I'm just gonna make a little bow on there. <laughs> so those are the charms that are on the book and I'm just keeping the rest of it just the way it is. Very simple. And piece of paper I put in there. So again, the inside cover, just craft paper, very simple. Open the flap and I cut out the shape that was actually mimicked on this paper for a pocket. Then I made these tags. I used my envelope punch to make this little corner on the tags. So I put a charm on that one and then these are just clear stickers that I had that I thought worked really well for the tags. And then on this page it's for journaling so I just stamped the word remember and this she can just put pictures. And then inside everyone has a for photos or journaling or whatever. So, and then the pocket, they can always put stuff in the pocket too. Memorabilia or whatever. So each tab coordinates with the front and back of the paper. And then this one, I just cut these out of one of the papers and put some pop dots underneath there to kind of pop them up a little bit. This one says note. And then I did the same thing. I cut out the seashell from one of the papers and I um, 
mounted it on two pieces of the cardstock just to give it some really good depth and dimension and sturdiness. And I'm going to do this in the the um, tutorial that I'm going to do. So I'll show you all this stuff. How do I do this and stuff like that. And this is from Cindy had helped me with this, my friend Cindy. She helped me with all this ideas and stuff on how to do this. So this is the same thing again. And the back matches the back paper. And then this is the next page. And on this one, I used paper that said ocean, and I wanted to get the rest of the letters in. So I just made it a pocket on the next page. And this one says, again, remember. And then this, these tags, I stamped airplanes with the same antique linen distress ink. So it just kind of dried almost just, you know, clearish, but just enough for you to be able to see it in the background. And I put a little, little charm on that. And then the same thing, it's got the pocket here, the tab here. It goes out. And then come on. There we go. Just gotta open it up enough. And then I give the striped paper here and I cut the umbrellas out and put them on pop dots to just give it a little dimension. And then I added a little um, metal thing that I had there that says vacation. And this one says note. And just kept it simple. Put a pocket here. And these tags, these are rub-ons on this one. This one says take time to explore. There we go. Then You know, still get the pull out tab that they can do pictures or whatever with. Then this is the back page with all the words. This is the next page. And on this one, I didn't do any pockets. I just did words across the top. And I went over it with my uh, metallic pencil, pen. Pencil. <laughs> my metallic pen. And I just put all the words. Put them up on. Uh, I just mounted these again, the same thing on. Um, cardstock and then put the words on there, cut them out. And so this page is again very simple. And this one, this one, I put a pocket over here, notes, note over here, and then these tags have the clear stickers. And this one I put a little key charm on there. I loved making this book. It was so much fun and so simple and I am going to do a tutorial next week. And then on the back page I just did this heart on my computer and I just typed a note. Um, Sarah and Mike, this book was made for you with lots of love. Enjoy Mexico and use this book to journal and add pictures for memories that will last a lifetime. Big hugs, love, Aunt Sue. And then I put my stamp here, which I have to get a new one. It says, when this you see, remember me. It has Scrap Lady and then my email. So that's in the back. It's just plain. So that's the book. And um, again, I will do a tutorial next week and it's so easy and it comes together so well and it's just fun to embellish and you can do this, this one I kept simple. I mean, you could go all out and do, you know, lots of different embellishments and, and different things. There's lots of space for, for pictures and for, you know, everything. And so I probably should tie one more knot around that to keep that tied because otherwise it will keep coming untied. Let's see. So that's there we go. Oh now I have a pretty bow and it's all tied.
time. And I, I like the addition of the charms. That gave it just enough for me to be able to, you know, say it wasn't too much, but just enough. Next, what I did for her was I made her a card, made them a card. Oh, I see how they probably shouldn't have done that. That's right. I can get a new envelope for that if I need to. I don't know why I said I wasn't thinking. I'll just do a new envelope. Yeah. All right. Um, so this is the card that I made. I had some wedding stickers that I used to do that. This is this ribbon right here. And what I did was I just took it and I tied it in a knot. I was going to use a ribbon buckle and then I just fixed the knot the way I liked it. And then I fanned out the sides and then glued them around the the matting I had. Um, so it's just just comes out like that and fanned out on both sides. So that's like an easy way if you don't have a ribbon buckle and it looks pretty neat to just do a that effect, that same effect um, as having a ribbon buckle. And I did have ribbon buckles but I couldn't find them and I thought they were too dressy anyways for what I was doing because it's kind of a fun card. So um, anyways, so I did that and then on the inside I just, I this was a stamp I had and I just cut them out, put the rings and the, and then this was on the stamp too with this ring and I went over it with my metallic pens from Sakura, my Sakura Jelly Roll metallic pen. Very nice. I love these pens. So that's the wedding card. And then this one is, we're giving them, they're going to Mexico in this one. Oh. I have to redo this one too. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Um, so they're going to Mexico and you know, we've been to Mexico just recently in May, sort of recently. And they, this, this is what this one, front of this is going to say. Um, I got that stamp at the Goodwill store. And then it's, I, I'm telling them to bring the card with them and don't open it until they get to Mexico. The card and this box. And I made the box. And so I just did a fun little card for them. And then I just, this is the new, I got these uh, dies. This is the new dies that I got. And then I just put a note in there that um, a little something to help them enjoy a day trip. Inside the box you will find info on several places. We highly recommend a day at Shelha. Uh, it's very close to where you're staying. Actually, i got to remember I have a picture that I wanted to print out too. That's of when we went to Mexico, we took our picture near their resort. And um, so I covered the box. I made it out of cardstock and then I covered it with um, paper that I have and um, I mean I could just shake it to have it come out so anyway so I covered the inside and, the, and everything on this I just used my um, Sakura um, glaze pen to kind of give it a little and I went over some of the stuff and then this is the money inside here I put a ribbon around it and then these are just brochures to all these different fun places so they can decide where they want to go for their day trip. And like I said, if they go to Shell Hut, it's all inclusive. It's a wonderful place. That's where we went and that's where I had a lot of the pictures done. So I will make new envelopes for these. And actually I'm not going to seal them this time because my daughters are going to probably want to see them. So anyways, Oh, just in time, music company. Um, yeah, my stepdad is coming over to pick up a mattress cover thing that we have. So, anyways, just about here. Anyway, so that's what I have to share with you. The completion of my album. 
in the box, which I'm very happy with. Um, this is one album that I just really enjoyed making, and I am just just very, very happy with the outcome. So it's a fun album, and it comes out really beautiful every time. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.